Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. So this will be the last part of Le Chatelier Principle which will cover the effect of temperature and catalyst to the equilibrium system. So first, let's have a look at the temperature dahulu. Okay, so before this, kalau kita belajar change in uh, concentration, change in pressure or volume or even the addition of the inert gas, I didn't talk about K at all kan? Mesti tak ada cakap pasal value K tu sendiri because changing concentration or changing the P or V or even the addition of inert gas, it won't affect the value of K at all. Okay? However, kalau kita ubah temperature, the value of K will be affected. Okay? So, only the change in temperature will affect the value of K. So, uh, bila kita involve temperature ni, kita kena tengok uh, ada dua jenis system. One system is called as the uh, exothermic system. Okay? Another system is what we call as endothermic system. Okay? Whereby, Kalau dua ni, uh, lain lah apa yang berlaku kalau exothermic meaning dia akan release heat, sistem tu akan release heat tapi kalau endothermic, sistem tu akan absorb heat. Okay, so in this particular case class, kalau untuk reaction PCL3 plus Cl2 menghasilkan PCL5, so given that this is enthalpy H equals to negative 11 kilojoule, so yang penting kat sini adalah for you to notice the sign depan kita punya enthalpy value ni. Okay, so enthalpy, what is enthalpy? Later on kita akan belajar yang ni in further details next semester. Okay, so negative value. So negative value indicates that this system is actually going forward, going forward, okay, from left to right, it is an exothermic punya system. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, okay, so miss bawa keluar benda ni anggap sebagai bukan reversible lah. Okay. So yang ni going forward daripada PCL3 plus CL2 uh, producing PCL5. So this is exothermic. Okay, meaning the heat is released. However, if I flip the system, okay, so kalau miss flip kan the system, kita reverse kan the system. So now the delta H punya value pun akan berubah juga daripada negative 111 kilojoule. Now dia jadi positive 111 kilojoule. Okay, so going forward daripada PCL5, dia decompose jadi PCL3 and CL2. Okay, from left to right. So this system shows that the enthalpy is positive value bermaksud. Apa yang berlaku kat sini adalah endothermic reaction dan meaning the heat is being absorb in order untuk produce dua benda ni. Okay, so uh, depends dengan value negatif ke positif untuk enthalpy tu, kamu boleh tahu sistem tu adalah uh, going forward untuk sistem tersebut adalah endo ataupun exo. Okay, Alright, so kita fokus dulu untuk exothermic reaction. So untuk exothermic reaction, okay, given that so heat is being released, right? So heat is being released, so misalnya letak heat ni dekat bahagian product dan, okay? So dekat bahagian product, dekat this side dan. So kita try kacau sistem ni, okay? So kalau kita kacau sistem ni, so let's say kita nak increasekan the temperature, okay? So kita increasekan temperature. So heat is on your right side, right? So kita increasekan temperature. So as you can see, sistem ni akan shift ke mana? Okay, so as you can see, dia akan shift to the left then. Okay, so sistem ni dia akan try reduce balik the disturbance lah. Of course, bila kita increasekan temperature, of course kita akan try reducekan semula the temperature. Okay, how, apa berlaku dan kalau kita sistem tu akan reduce balik the temperature. So, the system will shift to the uh, left then. Okay, so decreasing the heat, the system akan shift to the left. Therefore, kalau dia shift to the left, so what's going to happen to the concentration of kita punya reactant? So, of course, reactant akan increase. Meanwhile, kita punya product pula akan decrease. Okay. So, yang tu kita akan tengok kemudian lah pasal yang increase-decrease tu. Okay, tapi in this particular case, exothermic reaction is not favorable. Kenapa not favorable? Because the system is going from left to right. Sebab kalau untuk yang ni, yang exothermic ni, kalau yang going forward tak? Going forward bermaksud from left to right. Kalau reaction to shift from left to right, exothermic reaction is favorable. Tapi since any they are going from right to left, therefore exothermic reaction is not favorable kalau kita increasekan the temperature. Okay, so next kalau kita tengok pula if kita decreasekan the temperature. So masih lagi reaction yang sama, tapi in this time round kita decreasekan temperature. So as you can see the system now shift from uh, left to right. So, apa yang dia akan buat adalah since kita decrease temperature, dia akan try untuk increasekan balik the heat lah. Okay, bila dia try increasekan balik the heat, so system tu akan shift to the right. Okay, therefore, kalau shift to the right, okay, so from left to right, so is exothermic reaction now uh, unfavorable. 
yes in favor dah sekarang ni so dia lagi pref uh, exothermic reaction is favorable untuk this particular uh, disturbance okay kalau kita decrease kan temperature so system dia akan move from left to right then okay Alright, jadi so, apa pula kaitan dengan K ha okay sekarang kita nak tengok how exactly the temperature affect the K okay changing in temperature akan affect the K value so uh, kalau kita tengok kat sini this is the same system class so kalau kita akan change kan the temperature kita increase kan temperature you can see that the reaction shift to the left kan Okay, dah shift to the left okay. So, bila kita shift to the left So, apa yang berlaku dekat kita punya uh, reactant then Okay, reactant kita akan increase Okay, reactant akan increase So, kalau reactant increase Bermaksud reactant kita mana? Yang bahagian bawah ni kan? Bahagian bawah ni adalah reactant kita So, reactant increase So, what did it happen to the K then? So, of course, K akan decrease Value K akan decrease Okay, B, kalau kita tengok temperature decrease, so temperature decrease, so temperature decrease, so kita akan uh, pergi ke sebelah kanan. Okay, so kalau temperature decrease, so akan pergi kanan. Jadi, what happened to the concentration of kita punya product? Okay, so Miss Padam yang ni tadi. So, concentration of product kita sekarang meningkat. Okay, minua kita punya reactant menurun. So, kalau yang ni concentration of product meningkat. So, as you can see, if the concentration of PCL5 meningkat, so value of K pun akan increase juga. Okay, so now, uh, sistem isotermic kita dia lagi prefer yang mana satu. Adakah dia prefer? prefer kalau temperature is increase ataupun temperature decreases. Uh, so in this particular case kita kena tengok sebab ini adalah exothermic. So exothermic from left to right lah kan. So the one yang shift to the right. So the one that shift to the right adalah bila temperature decrease. Maksud well, so if we decrease the temperature so in this particular system dia akan prefer exothermic reaction lah. Okay, so yang ni memang kalau kamu tak faham so far, just try to reread sekali lagi until kamu boleh grab the idea. This part memang a little bit hard untuk faham sebenarnya. Okay, just try to ulang balik and uh, try fahamkan semula lah betul-betul apa sebenarnya yang berlaku. Okay. Ini untuk isotermic. So let's say kita tengok endothermic reaction now. So endothermic reaction, heat is being absorbed. So heat being absorbed, that's why Miss letak heat sebelah kiri sekarang ni. Okay. So going forward class, going forward, this system favors um, endothermic lah. Kenapa? Macam mana mis tahu endothermic? Ni positive sign dekat sini. Okay. So this system from left to right adalah endothermic dan. Okay. So disturbance dia. So let's say kita increase kan temperature. So this part kita punya heat, increase kan temperature. Increase temperature, system akan try turunkan balik temperature by shifting the system to the Right, okay. So they are to reduce can balik the heat. So the system will shift to the right. Okay. So since they shift to the right, so in favor ka tidak endothermic reaction ni? Yes, in favor. Okay. So endothermic reaction is favorable for this part. Kalau kita increase kan temperature. So what if kita decrease kan temperature? So decrease kan temperature. So this part heat kita kita decrease kan temperature. So of course system akan try increase kan balik the temperature. So bila dia try increase kan balik the temperature. So now the increase kan. Tapi as you can see system actually shift to the left. Okay. So dia akan shift to the left. So dia akan increase kan semula the heat tapi apa yang berlaku adalah since system to shift to the left so is endothermic reaction favorable ataupun tidak dekat sini the answer is no dan sebab dia pergi ke kiri so kalau dia pergi ke kiri is not favorable dan okay sebab ini kita fokus on going forward je okay going forward so only the one yang going to the right yang adalah favorable lah untuk endo ataupun exo depends dengan value enthalpy kat sini okay Okay, so um, K pula. Okay, kita tengok sekali lagi yang berkaitan dengan K. So, in this particular reaction, okay, so kita increase kan T. So, this is a, uh, apa ni? Endothermic reaction. Okay, endothermic reaction. So, bagian heat kat sini. So, T increases. So, kalau T increase, so the system will shift to the right. So, shifting to the right meaning more 
more product is produced. So more product is produced, concentration of product increases. So what happened to K then? Okay, so we can see that K kalau ni increase, bagi atas increase, maksud K pun akan increases juga. Okay, tapi kalau kita decreasekan temperature, so Miss Padam yang atas tu tadi, so kalau kita decreasekan temperature, the system will shift to the left. So kalau shift to the left pun maksud yang meningkat sekarang adalah kita punya rectum. So kalau rectum meningkat, what happened to the K? Okay, so K akan menurun. Okay, so in this particular case, kalau T decreases, K akan menurun lah kalau endo. Okay, jadi in this particular, um, kalau case kat sini kelas, ada dua jenis, satu T increase, satu T decrease. So which one favors endothermic reaction? So always tengok balik yang favor endothermic ni would be the one yang going forward lah. Going forward bermaksud going from left to right. So of course yang bahagian T increase ni. So kalau untuk endothermic reaction, kalau kita increase kan the temperature, dia akan favor the endothermic reaction lah. Okay. So dekat sini kamu boleh baca sendiri. Okay, yang ni dia bagi a very specific uh, like uh, explanation on what's happen on on what happened to the uh, concentration of each species yang involved. Kalau dia adalah gas lah. Okay, make sure semuanya adalah gas lah. Okay, ni gas, ni gas, ni gas. Uh, so uh, ataupun aqueous solution pun diterima juga kalau untuk temperature ni. Okay, so if for exothermic dia akan bagi dua situasi kalau T increase dengan T decrease ni. So you can see lah apa yang berlaku dekat sini. Okay, and then what's happen what happened to the value of the KC and KP pun boleh nampak dekat sini. Okay, satu lagi adalah untuk endothermic. So you can read this on your own explanation dia. Okay. Uh, so now I think uh, yes, try this nanny. Okay. So how does an increase in temperature affect the shift in equilibrium position? So have a look at the delta H. Uh, identify first whether it is exo or endo, and only then you can see apa yang akan berlaku lah when the temperature increase. Okay. So pause this video first, and only then I will give you the answer. Okay. Make sure that. Uh, how does an increase in temperature affect the shift in equilibrium? So, kamu kena bagi tahu sistem tu selain daripada dia pergi ke mana-ke mana, bagi tahu what happened to the species. Especially kalau dia adalah gas ataupun aqua saja, whether the concentration increases or decrease. And then what happened to K? K increases, K decrease. Okay, so pause the video ni. I'll reveal the answer after this. Okay, Miss Harap kamu dah post dah. Dengan harapan yang kamu dah post lah. Okay, so the answer is as below. Okay, so ni ni adalah jawapan untuk, sorry, yang K increase yang bawah ni. Ni jawapan untuk D lah. Okay, this one adalah answer untuk D. Okay, so kamu try figure out dia pergi shift to the left or shift to the right. And then try to figure out what happened to the species yang ada dalam tu. Yang might be affected by the shifting of the equilibrium. Okay, and then another one, 25 kat sini. Oh no, I revealed the answer already. Okay, so yeah, so just try to figure out. Oh my god, so yang ni sepatutnya dekat bahagian bawah ni. Okay, so this system adalah yang endothermic. Okay, so before tengok jawapan tu, so just try to answer on your own first lah. Okay, and on then kamu uh, tengok dia punya apa? Uh, Tengok jawapan yang ada dekat sini. Okay. Alright. Okay. So that's it for temperature. Tapi kita akan tengok one last uh, factor. Okay. In terms of catalyst. Okay. So the catalyst one is very short. Okay class. So the presence of catalyst. So ini adalah uh, graph untuk activation energy. Untuk graph yang involve. Uh, yang ni tak ada catalyst. Yang ni ada catalyst. Okay. Kita tengoklah apa benda sebenarnya ni. So catalyst. Apa yang berlaku adalah kalau kita add catalyst into the system. So the catalyst the catalyst is just uh, speed up direction okay so kalau dia macam mana dia nak speed up direction so by providing alternative mechanism with lower activation energy so kalau kamu nampak ea ea dekat sini so activation energy dekat sini adalah ea dalam graph kat bawah tu okay so as you can see ea kat sini let's say value dia adalah 2x okay so bila kita tambah catalyst so somehow catalyst tu dia akan lower down kind the activation energy. So as you can see, the one on the right side, this one is with catalyst. So as you can see, um, mungkin half lah, misalnya half jak. So value kat sini adalah X now. So it lowers down the uh, activation energy. So bila dia lowers down the activation energy, so what happen is uh, the rate of forward and reverse direction 
increase okay uh, so it shortened the time taken to reach equilibrium so we took the effect this manya so the catalyst it speeds up the reaction so it shortened the time taken to reach equilibrium so sama ada sistem tersebut akan shift to the left to the right no tak ada sebenarnya dia tak bagi effect pun okay uh, dia cuma pendekkan je masa untuk uh, daripada reaction produce product product produce reaction okay and remember that but, but remember but remember so the catalyst it has no effect to the equilibrium position okay so macam saya cakap tadi kalau tambah catalyst tu uh, sistem takkan uh, berubah dia punya equilibrium okay meaning tak perlu untuk shift ke kanan ataupun shift ke kiri at the same time it doesn't affect the value of k okay bermaksud dekat sini bila kita tambah uh, catalyst concentration ke pressure ke semua tu takkan berubah sebenarnya it doesn't has and it doesn't have any effect to kita punya sistem equilibrium the only thing yang dia buat adalah ni bahagian hijau ni it shorten the time taken to reach equilibrium ok bila kita tambah catalyst by uh, providing alternative uh, pathway uh, in lowering the activation energy so initially kalau ini tak ada catalyst yang ni apabila tak ada catalyst dia rendahkan the EA ok so that's it for catalyst actually ok Alright, so in conclusion class, um, kita tengok balik setiap satu faktor yang ada. So, concentration, adakah reaction akan shift? Kalau kita kacau, yes. But does it affect the value of K? No. Uh, meanwhile, pressure pula, again, yes. Kalau kita tukar pressure ataupun volume, dia akan affect the system. Okay. Unless number of mole sama, yang tu lain cerita. Ha, okay. Tapi adakah dia akan affect value of K? Uh, no juga. Meanwhile, what about temperature? Adakah reaction akan shift? Yes, dia akan shift. Adakah dia akan affect the value of K? Yes, dia akan affect juga value of K. So, temperature jadi only one yang akan affect the value of K. Okay. And then what about catalyst? Adakah reaction akan shift? No. Okay. Adakah dia akan affect the value of K? No juga. Apa catalyst ni buat? It just shorten the time for the reaction to reach equilibrium. Itu sahaja. Dia tak akan kacau sistem tu kiri kanan ke tak. Oh, tak, tak ada. Okay. Alright. So that's it. So I think untuk yang ni kamu boleh. Uh, ada dua lagi try this question yang kamu kena try. So yang ni adalah um, like. Uh, dia gabung semua factor so try and have a look lah daripada concentration sampailah catalyst so try to answer this yang ni mesti tak bagi jawapan lah we will discuss this in our class later okay and also try this time to seven try uh, dua soalan ni mesti tak bagi jawapan okay right so that's all class bye